We begin tonight with the tragic developments in the senseless shooting of a seven-year-old girl. Little Regine Williams has died just days after someone riddled her home with bullets. Thank you for joining us on this Friday. I'm Alan Campbell. And I'm Carolyn Clifford. Regine was just sitting on her couch Wednesday night when the gunfire rang out. The drive-by shooting captured on surveillance video. Police and Ray Janae's family are desperate to find the gunman. This happened on Bedford near Bremer on Detroit's east side. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is live in Detroit with the heart-wrenching message from the family. Kimberly. Yes, Alan and Carolyn, we know killers talk. Their family and friends do too. Now this family needs someone to talk to detectives or make an anonymous call to Crime Stoppers. The coward decides that they have nothing better to do but come and shoot rounds into a house that had two parents and nine children in there. For the first time, we're hearing from the mother of seven-year-old Regine Williams as she makes a plea to the public for help in finding her little girl's killers. If you know something, please say something because I have to bury my seven-year-old baby. I'll never get to touch her again. I'll never get to see her again. These shootings in our community must stop. We're talking about children. It was Wednesday night around 820 when a dark colored vehicle drove up to the family's home on Bedford near Mac on Detroit's east side and opened fire. A nearby surveillance camera catching the muzzle flashes and a grainy glimpse of the vehicle. One of the rounds hit the straight A student in the back of the head. To the person who murdered my baby. I first would like to offer you Jesus Christ. Detroit, we're, we're better than this. When COVID hit, this community came together. We worried about our elderly oh. grandparents and parents, and, and we wore masks. We became the national model for watching out for each other. Isn't it just as important to watch out for our children? Hardworking family. And why? Rest in peace, Nene. Sleep with the angels, baby. You're safe now in God's hands. We didn't want to let you go, but we didn't want to see you suffer. Thank you. So make that call to Detroit Police Homicide Investigators or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP and you will remain anonymous. And also the family has started a burial fund on GoFundMe. We'll have a link on WXYZ.com. Reporting live on Detroit's east side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Kim, so difficult to see another child in the city of Detroit Absolutely. pass away just by uh, some senseless gunfire. Thank you for the live report. Thoughts and prayers as always to that family.